All right, guys. This is Apoc. This is my Watcher of Realms dedication here, Dungeon One, Stage Five guy. All right, guys. Let's get after it. We're gonna first turn off Power of Dominance, make it feel like the first time. Let's get into it. All right, we're doing the team just like this. Only one Lord. It is a Golden Lord but only one Lord, and we're leaving three holes in the team. All right, three holes in the team. We're gonna do this a bare minimum style. Bare minimum style, BP was 530, you see that? All right, so for this, we're gonna need it to go up to 65, so I can place all three units at the same time. And boom, one, place my Invig, then my tank. Excellent, 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 okay. Then to draw attention after that first hit, draw attention away. I'll put him on the north side. Doing good, doing good. Garen is doing stuff down bottom. Now, Greed is going to be next, right? But right around the time he gets ready, I need to put the fairy up here for the guy, too. Boom, and three, four, five. Right there. Perfect. Perfect timing. Look on the bottom. Right before. Okay, perfect. Right before they hit the tank, you pull the plug. Artemis goes up top and just where one a towel his last towel is being covered by him so we can heal him in between Artemis is going to be your main damage dealer up here let's slow this down a little bit so I can explain as we walk through it now I'm going to go ahead and try to get this going for the simple point of the soul bell and arcanas all right and perfect execution mode excellent so now let's go up top here protor is ready to do protor things and i got the little uh fairy ready for healing and i will drop lord morrigan actually let me drop her on the other side there we are excellent let's pop you get you going pop you get you going so a little bit of love with some fairy dust I'll get you going on the bottom. Excellent, excellent, excellent. All right. Guys up top are handling it with ease. Outstanding, outstanding. All right, let's speed this up a little bit in between bouts. All right, looks like the top's coming along and the bottom's going to try to hit me at the same time. Let's slow it down. Artemis is ready again, just about, and go. Go, Artemis, go. Go, Ninja, go, Ninja, go. Go, Ninja, y'all yeah, remember that? <laughs> All right, come on, Captain. Come on, Crodor, what are you doing? What are you doing? Why, why you got somebody walking by you? Don't do that, don't do that, don't do that. Unpop that, get that going. Okay. What are we looking at up, up here? Come on. Come on, last one. Come on, big dog. Ooh, didn't quite get him. Still got two. Where's my fairy act, man? Come on. Artemis, damn it. Ugh. All right, let's try, try that one again. Let's actually put her on the back side and see if that makes any difference. Wait for the 65. Like I said, we're going to keep it at times two. Let's make this hard. All right, let's make this hard do that 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 there we go we got the team out the trio draw fire away there we go doing good doing good greed's almost ready to come to the show tank is doing outstanding let's just go ahead and get that popping 24 so you out there look at that fairies ready boom 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 everyone is doing their job and doing it well all right, Artemis is ready to have fun. Put him out where he just covers uh, Crodor. All right, and when Morgan's ready, I'll throw her out there just for good measure. Slow that down, and let's see, right here on the bottom. Morgan will be placed right there. That way they're more focused on this one tile instead of being all over the place. Execution status on the bottom end, perfect. Go ahead and pop that for good measure. 
All right, now we're looking up top. Right as these guys start into the picture, that's when I'm popping this guy. Oh, right there we go. And now I can get Prodor as soon as he's available. Sometimes he takes a minute, that's okay. And we still got this fairy over here on the side. You guys notice that too? If we need him, we can place him, right? But if we don't, we won't. Artemis is doing great. Look at that damage coming up. Brandon Morgan's getting some of that too. You know what I mean? Let's be let's be let's be fair to Morgan, I guess. All right. Looks like they're starting to heal up pretty good there. Looks like we left what one guy. Ooh, that's aggravating. That's all right. Artemis is already back up again for round two. We're going to get him this time. We're going to get him this time. Come on. Boom. Rodor, come on now. Get yours going as well. All right. I could use a, another fairy right about now. Come on. Come on. I'm recording. Come on. Drop that right there. Perfect. Perfect. Up top, you see they're doing exactly what they need to do. Exactly what they do. Perfect. Every single one of them. Every single one. Outstanding. Outstanding. We're doing good. Almost there, guys. Almost there. Right at the end here. Let's pay attention to the bottom. Make sure Greed is doing what Greed is supposed to do. Outstanding. Outstanding. Artemis is ready to pop him as soon as possible. Corridor, pop him, pop him, get that block. We'll send some extra life up here. We'll go ahead and pull the plug on these guys there. Okay, looking good, looking good. What about these guys up top? Are they gonna be able to finish the job? Can he finish the job? Oh, it looks like he's a little shy. He's able to get it. Oh yeah, got him, got him. Got him. That was so close. <laughs> that was so close on that one. All right, guys. This is the last little group here. 56 out of 60. Last little group. Let's go. Let's go. Crank up that speed. All right. It's all up to you, Artemis. All up to you, Artemis. Let's go. Come on, Crodor. Come on, Crodor. Get some life going up here. Give him some love. Give him some love. And watch the damage melt. Can we zoom in? Yeah. Yeah, look at that. Outrageous. Outrageous damage. Boom! There you go, guys. Stage five, a true absolute challenge doing it this way, but it was fun. Absolutely fun. All right. All right. Just like with every one of these guide videos, what I'm going to do now is look at some of the stats and then we'll check out the heroes, right? I mean, the heroes as far as, you know, what they were wearing, the gear. Look at her. Because of her execution status, she'll do 53 mil. This dude was killing up top, you know what I mean? He was still doing 17, right? She did a little bit. She was helping with six. Reed is there just for the slowing down. He's there just to have something. I mean, honestly, you probably don't even really need him there. But I use him simply to draw the uh, heat of the um, Volca strikes and, of course, the, the archers, right? Um... You could probably do away without even a tank at all, honestly. Um, you might even put Lust in there instead of instead of the captain. That might be a fun video, right? Might be able to try that one. But anyway, and then of course you got your tank there and you got your healer. So let's go check out the actual team themselves and their gear. Go back to five. We'll go to fight. All right. First, let's check out Bjerna, right? She was the main damage dealer. See this 88 B, uh, BP, guys, battle power. Not not super hot, not super hot, but you can do better. But I do know, I did notice, I did notice, I was playing around with this quite a bit, and I noticed that overall, I do a lot more damage with her when I have her with higher attack versus higher crit damage. I've noticed that, right? It's more continuous damage. So you'll notice that she has the little, um, the little uh, uh, hands that fly around the actual uh, bad guys and doing damage, right? That's the damage over time. That's where the attack is coming from. 
and the the big crit damage bigger hits i've noticed are when she'll send like a hand directly to you as almost like an every every attack type of thing in addition to the hand that's swirling now that one-off hit will do a larger amount of damage with a more crit damage stat but she's not doing that as often as the damage over time is the damage over time is actually hitting more often even though it's a lower number so cranking up the attack i've noticed at least on this setup is what provides a lot more um uh, attack right basically crit capped uh do have some decent crit damage in there though don't get me wrong you know i'm not going full blown without it but attack speed on her doesn't matter so it's just part of the gear right 21 uh, uh hp 27 would be better but 20 uh, over 20 works and then i've got the maxed out tier of twilight see what i mean guys this even increases the attack by 30 percent so i'm really trying to just attack 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 right and it does good it does me good especially if you have a lego lord to throw in there now you can always throw in um what's the little lady's name this one right here this is all, all already a good one too this lady actually does a ton of good damage as well so an all another awesome uh, uh option right not quite as good as as a morgan or a demi but if you have a morgan or a demi by all means use what you have right so next we'll go to this guy this guy was having fun notice his bp is only at 65 guys i've seen some of these guys where they're able to put put like him on 80 or early 90 level bp like that's super awesome i've got this guy killing at just 65 so let's go take a look bp is not everything we always got to remember that right uh bp is not everything but i have him at 13,000, basically 14,000 attack and if you scroll down here basically crit cap at 400 crit damage this guy is the opposite of uh vierna i've noticed with this guy because i only use him and i mean he only does damage during the ultimate right and the ultimate since i have made one i really don't need the 93 it just happens to be with the gear but side note <laughs> uh, uh with the higher crit damage i noticed that i'm able to do a ton more damage in the ultimate than um uh, uh than i am with higher attack with this so just something i've noticed there i've played around with and this guy right here like i said he was rocking at 13 crit damage at 400 basically crit cap the speed is nice if you can get him around four or five hundred even better right but anyway that's what i have him as and he was able to kill with this now what i do think and i, was, I need to play around with a little, little bit more leave in the comments actually if you guys have already done this and found out it'd be nice to know but i was thinking about changing out the golden scarab for this just giving me more basic attack right off the bat instead of this basic five percent but this extra rage regen helps too it helps me be ready for the next round every time those guys come too so i don't know something i'm going back and forth on something i'm going back and forth on right because the extra attack would really be handy but rage regen is nice too you know what i'm saying so anyway something i'm playing around with there but that's what artemis is looking like now greed i don't have nothing special on greed as far as damage wise look at this only five thousand damage so he's not there for damage right what i have him on is a ton of rage regen absolute ton of rage regen and a ton of attack speed look at that basically 500 basically 500 and 140 with a rage regen right the dude's killing it with that stuff crit rate don't matter crit damage don't matter it's just the stats that happen to be there attack uh, all that doesn't matter you know yeah obviously over 20k or around at least 20k uh just so he can withstand the the, the normal blasts but uh and then of course you know i've got the normal nightmare samara not even max but you know it gives him the rage re uh, regen and stuff like that so just does what he does just slow 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 now the captain i love this guy i try to use him everywhere i can um and and honestly i could probably not even place him uh um or honestly i could probably pick him up right as soon as i place cord or crotor and then never place him again honestly just just based on the strap that, that i was using in this level here but you know may, maybe another another time maybe another time we'll, we'll swap that out and try that later so what i used on him is just the bastion ring try to get him uh, it, is, it is maxed out but i want to try to get him the best uh, uh survivability if, if possible once those guys start hitting him granted they start healing once they start hitting him so it's not something you want to but in case he does take a few hits just to slow him down it's nice for him to have that extra hp and i don't know if the microphone's picking that up but it is coming down outside jesus all right guys 
So let's jump over here. Prodor. I actually had put my broke here gear on this guy. Check this out. I got him up to 122,000 HP. Yeah, he's tanky, boy. He is tanky. His defense is 8,000, which is, is, is something, you know, 8,000 is a good bare minimum. A good bare minimum. So I feel good about that. You can probably rock with six and get away with it, but 8,000, I feel healthy about that. Right? I do feel healthy. Um, uh, everything else pretty much is irrelevant. He's just there to take a hit. Everything else is irrelevant. I mean, his attack is only 7,000. I don't care right it, it's all about the the uh, hp for this the setup right and then of course i got another bastion ring on him but this is not even maxed out it's 19 out of 22 i should probably swap it around and put the maxed out bastion over here help him out a little bit more but anyway that's the team guys look at these these three are open straight up open you don't even need them right don't even need them and maybe next time i'll do another video where we do something like this this should be fun let's see we could do or a little lady uh a little lady friend we'll put you in there because you're just looking wicked right what about that then we could take you completely out go back to you do this swivity swapity swap Ooh, what if we threw lust in there just for giggles yeah that'd be fun right next video guys till next time hey fuck out if you enjoyed that video, guys, check out my channel here or my latest video here. Till next time, APOC out.